Hey guys, we are coming to the last stage of the tutorial part. In this, we are going to create a knife. So, to do that, just create a mesh cylinder. Wow, it's too big, right? I'm going to change the radius to 0 0.08. Hmm, okay. Then just rotate it in X axis to 90 degree and again rotate it in Y axis to 90 degree. Sorry, Z axis to 90 degree. Yeah, great. Then just scale it down. Yeah, then we are going to create a knife handle. So design according to that. I'm just a little bit make it a scale it in Z axis bigger and again I'm going to scale it in X axis very smaller. Then I'm going to the wireframe mode and then I'm going to extrude in X axis to design a model of handle for the knife. I wanna drive away so I can be so far from me. I wanna find a place where no one breaks the I want this repeated multiple times for the model. I'm going to add the modifier for the array and move it into the Z axis. And I have some counts two, two or three. Yeah, that's great. We created a handle. Now we are going to create a knife uh, friend pot a sharp edge pot before that i'm going to create it a cube with a started point so i'm going to create a cube and make it that cube very thin and add some bevel to it i never really understood just how the story jazz but i could feel his dance don't know the then again to create a sharp page i'm going to create another cube and make it a very smaller and I'm started to extrude to have the knife pot in very soft edges. So I am added to extrude in Z axis. <coughs> yeah. And make it again extrude to make the curve very sharp. For that, I'm going to merge it at center. Yeah. Now it's look like a knife. Then I'm going to have some loop cuts and subdivided in faces to three to four times. To make a design, I'm going to delete some faces. Yeah, it's look great. Oh, our cube is very big. I'll make it thin to make a shot for the knife. Yeah, our knife is ready. But it seems like a handle is bigger than the knife. So I make it a uh, sharp edges a uh, bigger. So our knife is ready now. So I'm going to add the material. So moving on to shading and hand material. I'm going to have a black and silver. For handle, I'm going to add the black, add some metallic and add some roughness. Then for the knife part, I'm going to add a silver edge. So for that I'm going to create a new material, add a silver color and add some metallic and roughness to it. Yeah, we created a knife. So we done our tutorial. In next we are going to create a lightning for this and render the model.